Okay, so here I start with a uh, 50mm prime and the first, normally the first time uh, the first thing you need to do with a lens is to to get out the plate label on top of the lens so once you get out the top of the lens by just rubberize it and use a uh, resistant uh, refraction uh, force to, to get it out normally if the thread is uh, smooth you should be able to get it out quite easily and next element normally is to get um, lens hood and uh, out depends some lens don't have this kind of structure sometimes you can directly unlock the front elements but sometimes the front elements may be in a position that your tool cannot access so you may need to unlock some parts but generally uh, all the glass is um, uh, hold it by a plate and on top of the plate there's two dots where you can put in um, the, the special screw tool actually it's something like a scissor but with a different kind of more convenient design but generally you can get through with just a scissor if the, the is if it's not that tight but sometimes if it's too tight you may like to get some special tools to be able to unlock it once you unlock it then just um, keep on screwing it you will be able to get it out quite easy so now I'm just um, get out the body front part so I can easily just get the front the first group of the front element out so the first group of glasses are actually uh, group as a group and then you have to unlock the most front uh, panel to be able to uh, get them out so it's like um, a normally this kind of design is used to hold the glass together so by different layers of plane on top of it okay so now I'm just uh, getting out the the front element and uh, that should be fine so so I'm now using a ruler and um, this kind of ruler is uh, basically just uh, a bit convenient for me to put into two plates because this one is quite tight the scissor can be quite dangerous if you if it's too close to your finger and once you're losing up the front plate then you can just um, uh, use your hand to unscrew it you have to clean the lens anyway so your fingerprints doesn't matter so just continue to uh, un unlock it you can see this well the two object color holes that you can place the two in to unlock it so once you lose it up then you just uh, continue taking out the glass elements one by one and then um, Yep, so once you take them out, you can take out one glass and uh, now you can start cleaning them. And you can see there's a little bit tiny fungus on the back of the glass. So normal cleaning way cannot do, so you have to use some special liquid. So the cleaning precision come, normally come with a free, as a free gift when you buy a camera, then it comes into handy. And then you just spray some um, liquid on it and just uh, using a very clean cloth or something soft to rubberized um, the, 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 the fungus area and then you should be able to clean them properly and of course there's some clean markers sometimes the uh, easy way to get away of the clean markers is using a plastic wiper to wipe your hands before your hands touching the glass and then also after you get the first layer of, uh, I mean the first step of rough cleaning then you may need to use some uh, pure water to to um, clean as a second pass so once that is done then you can use uh, tissue soft tissues and uh, and uh, to to clean the lens dry up the lens uh, glass properly and generally the soft cloth should be fine as uh, as the glass is quite solid so now 
taking out the second layer of elements so depends on how the last design element is grouped it so now I'm using scissor to demo you put the to the two hole correspondingly at the opposite side and then use initially you have to force it a little bit to unlock it once you unlock it you should be able to just use your hand to unscrew the rest of part okay of course all generally you don't want to do this kind of um, operation on an expensive lens because uh, this is just manual lens and uh, cleaning fee well more than the price of a lens then you may like to clean it yourself okay now I'm using scissors to just unlock the last part I have heard it myself once using the scissors but if the lens is designed quite well and there's no physical damage to the lens then generally you should be able to just uh, using scissors easily to unlock the plate so once the once the plate is unlocked and then you just continue to use your finger to unlock them of course you have to remember how they near the need you have to put it back but generally the process is quite straightforward it's quite linear you get the first element uh, you get the front all the front glass out and then you get the first element out and then you get the rest of the element out one by one and then of course dry up the, the glass by tissues and uh, so that they won't grow fungus again because the water inside so you clean out the, the lens material as well so it's also a good time to clean out all the dust using a blower and of course some elements you can not take them out like the real elements in the first group of, gla of glasses so you have to manually just uh, clean out like that and of course once you clean it will be very and free of dust of course when you assemble them back together you have to be careful again because uh, or the, the glass and the dust can go in between the glass so you have to in a very clean environment and once you clean the glass then just um, put them back and blow before you put them fully together okay so now you just um, uh, on the screw all the play back and of course you have to be very careful you don't want to scratch the glass okay then it's more almost uh, the final state of course this is just the front elements the, the real elements sometimes you have to take it out from the front part sometimes the real elements can be just taken out from the real part so it really depends on uh, what kind of lens you can get Generally, pentagon lens is so quite easy, quite easy and straightforward because the lens plate is quite simple to fix. And sometimes you don't, uh, you don't want, uh, and this, uh, the reason that you don't use screws because screws sometimes can get loose and sometimes you can't get it out easily. But with this kind of plate, uh, the hole is quite big, so you should be able to get them out unlock easily and screw it back also easily as well as long as the glass can be easily cleaned then should be fine sometimes the fungus can grow always to the glass then uh, it can clean it back uh, once you finish you just put the things back and uh, be careful of the dust and so now I just put it back and uh, then the rest is just simple as a uh, screw back all the elements back now you have a very clean glass but of course you generally want to place the glass elements as tight as possible so they are all in the original position but generally as a cheap lens they do focus very well just stop it down then you want still want to be very good a wide open performance unless you want to go to the extreme process but otherwise it's fine